gorilla house, the three brothers are coming in for the night. But tonight, there's a fourth gorilla in residence. I know it's his first day, but he has to get used to what they're going to be all about. Yuba will be the first young gorilla to be introduced to the group. We still aren't their species, and we don't know what they're giving off. We don't know yet. It's just a bit of an unknown. Heavyweight silverback Kisho enters the enclosure directly opposite Yuba's. Boss. Kish, good boy. Yes. Neither Kisho nor Yuba bat an eyelid. I mean, on a, you know, we're sitting here. There's a new gorilla here. He's just sitting munching, quite content, quite happy. So is he. It's lovely. It's an encouraging start. He's so sort of immature and unassuming. He, Kisho obviously sees nothing there that presents any threat to him, so he's quite happy just to sit there and watch, which is, which is great. One down, one to go. Tomorrow, we do it all again. The next day, as Yuba continues to settle in, Mark receives a message that gives him cause for concern about his second gorilla. Suvedi, en route from Germany. I've had a text from the transport uh, guy that say that this one's not quite as chilled as Yuba. He was obviously pretty upset when they shut the door on the box and he started banging and crashing around. Mark went to see Suvedi in Germany a few months ago. Like Yuba, he's also seven, but much more boisterous. <laughs> he just looks full of himself. He is very confident. Uh, he may be a bit lippy and want to kick off a bit. He might just be cheesed off today. He might be cheesed off tomorrow. New house, new people, you know, it's all, all different. Right. Calmly and confidently, Suvedi enters the house. Hello, buddy. Hey. Hi. Hi, good boy. He came straight out and he's quite, he's quieter than I was expecting him to be. We were expecting a little firecracker to come out. Hmm? It's a bit longer, isn't he? A bit longer in the back. New blood inevitably touches on the wounds of losing Legend of the Lake Nico earlier in the year. He was such a, a part of my life for so many years. And now that part of my life doesn't exist anymore and it's gone. In just two days, the park's gorilla colony has been transformed. Now finally they're here and it's, it's a really nice feeling. It's, it's just going to bring a whole new dynamic to the house. Um, keep us all on our toes. You know, we, we all say, like as gorilla keepers, that gorillas pick their keepers. And with these new arrivals, the first page of a new story begins. Over the next few days, what we'll be doing is just sitting on the floor, making myself small and calm and quiet, and hopefully he'll, he'll get a window way around it, I hope. <laughs> It'll take all the keepers' experience and commitment to ensure these relationships bloom. I think Yuba's already firmly getting in everybody's favourite good books so far, um, but I'm sure Savetti can swing that round in his favour at some point. This is now just the start. This was getting them here. Uh, now we have to look all the hard work involved in actually getting them together safely, and hopefully we can have a nice group of five out here in the enclosure. Over the coming months, Mark and his team will settle the new boys into the bachelor group as a new era dawns at the park. <laughs>